<laughs> All right. I'm going to break, <laughs> I'm going to break some rules today. So, uh, but let's have some fun talking about this topic. Now, a lot of you know me because you found me uh, from my near-death experience video that was posted on a really popular channel. And to all of you, I say, welcome. I'm glad you're here, regardless of why you subscribe to my channel or if you subscribe to my channel. I love you. I respect you. And if I have to, I will protect you. And that's regardless of anything about you, other than whether or not you personally are an asshole. <laughs> it's the most important thing in the world is trying to carry yourself with some level of decorum and general respect for other people. That, that, that's kind of important to me. But here, here's what I really wanted to talk about today. This new age phenomenon of mindfulness and positive thinking and <laughs> thoughts become things and blah, blah, blah. God, I can't do it anymore. I can't, I can't even listen to it anymore. I'm, I'm kind of grossed out by it, to tell you the truth. Here's here's the reality of of where you are in life right now, whether you realize it or not. There is no amount of positive thinking. There is no amount of mindfulness. There is no amount of positive daily affirmations that are going to make your life better. <laughs> unless, unless you actually put put something, unless you actually take action. I know this sounds absolutely crazy to a lot of people who, who really, really like the idea of <laughs> if I sit here and focus all of my intention on something, it will manifest itself and become something because thoughts become things. No, they don't. <laughs> thoughts don't become things. Actions become things. Thoughts do not become things. And if, and if you watch The Secret once a week and you've got it memorized and, you know, Bob Proctor just makes you cry uh, cool but if you actually go look at some of the stories of the people that uh, are yap 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 yapping it up on on the secret video um, Bob Proctor has a lot of good things to say I guess but some of those other people are straight up charlatans period <laughs> so the the reason I want to make this video is I, I I, I don't want to I don't want to disparage you from thinking positively because thinking positively is absolutely a wonderful thing and you absolutely should and you should feel good about yourself and you should you should live your life with smile on your face and you should go about into the world thinking that good things are going to happen to you because if you go out into the world um, having made the decision that today is going to be a good day it's going to be a good day by and large usually <laughs> right. But if you think that you're just manifesting things because you thought about them and the universe is taking your order and then providing whatever it is that you want to your door. No, wrong. Just sorry. Wrong. No, 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 no. Let me tell you why the secret works. Let me tell you what this whole manifestation thought process, how, why it actually works. It works because, generally speaking, when you decide... When you start focusing all of your attention on something and all of your intention on something and you start trying to manifest things, when you start focusing your intention on things, things that you want to accomplish, things that you want to do, and you mean it, I burped into the microphone, and you mean it, you start taking the actions required to make those things happen. If I sit in my bedroom right now and close my eyes and imagine that I have a million dollars in the bank... And I act as if it was already there. And I focus all of my intention on that. The universe is not going to give me that. But what I have done is I've told my brain that I'm prepared for that. My mind, I guess. I've, I've, I'm prepared to receive that. That I want that. And then what do I do if I'm taking myself seriously? I wake up tomorrow morning and I do something that actually helps me uh, achieve that goal. I didn't manifest it. I went out and made it happen physically physically. Now, is there something to be said about the power of positive thinking being a force for, for good? Yeah. But the power of positive thinking is, can be a force for evil as well, depending upon what your motivations are. So if you're really sitting there thinking, if I think about things hard enough, they'll magically appear. Stop. Please stop. Please stop. If you think about things hard enough, you start putting a plan together. You start coming up with a method by which to get there. You start 
putting action into place in order to achieve whatever goal that is, but you're not manifesting it by fucking thinking. I'm s- you're not manifesting it by thinking. Stop. Stop. I, I assume you're pretty much grown up at this point. You got to know better than that. So let's talk about manifestation. Right? I, w- I, I want to talk about this for a second because it's real. As a younger man, my wife and I had some massive struggles financially, health-wise, right? Everything was sideways. Everything was, was off the fucking rails. Everything. Right? My wife had has had a couple of brain tumors, bipolar kid, health issues out the wazoo. As a result of the health issues, medical bills out the wazoo, everything in a in, a, in an absolute daily state of chaos. And yep, yep, we all we we sat around and we felt sorry for ourselves, and things continued to get worse. And then something happened to me one day. I was laying in bed at night, thinking about what do I have to do now that the brain the brain tumors have been taken care of <clears throat> now that the kid seems to be on a, uh, on a, on a regimen of medication and counseling and therapy. That's actually helping her. What do I have to do to get out of this? Well, I got, I got to find a new job. Well, the job I have is here though. And I don't know if I want to take the risk of starting another one, but they aren't paying me enough and I'm really having a hard time and I'm really struggling. <sighs> you know what? I got to take the leap. I got to go do the thing. Right. Did, did, did more money manifest into my bank account? No, I had to go get a new, I had to go find a new job that would pay me better. I had to take some of the skills that I picked up and get good at something. That's it. That's all I had to do. So I went and I found that other job that paid me more, treated me a little bit better. So I felt a little bit better the next day, accomplished a little bit more moving forward than I had previously. And I continued that process, you know, for every couple of years, you know, I, I think it's time to upgrade. And I'm either going to upgrade where I am or I'm going to have to find a new place to be. And I've changed where I'm going to be a few times. And I'm okay with that. Because I know that, you know, the Chinese character for risk and opportunity are one and the same. They're the same thing, right? I got to try new things. I got to do new things, you know, starting a YouTube channel at, at, at 43 years old because I'm dumb. I don't know, because I think people actually might want to listen to what I have to say. Doing new things is going to manifest good things happen into my life. Uh, I could think about this YouTube channel all day long, but if I don't actually make any videos, nothing's going to happen. I can't manifest my likeness and this uh, sultry voice of mine onto the internet. I actually have to go do it. I actually have to sit here and record this video with this cool news background that I stole off of uh, a YouTube <laughs> royalty-free background. Yeah, appreciate the free stuff. Thank you. As I as I sit here now, as a forty-three-year-old man making f- four times as much money than I than I did as a younger man, none of which has come from this channel yet, by the way. Please subscribe to my, my channel and like this video. What what occurs to me is that. You know, a lot of that mystical stuff that people like to attach themselves to in, in an effort to use a cheat code, I guess, to, to get ahead. There's no cheat code. You actually have to go out and do something. You actually go ha- have to go out and take some action. You got to try the new thing. You got to make the video. You got to open the restaurant. You got to do whatever that is. You got to do whatever that thing is. It's going to help you get there. You're not going to manifest it by fucking thinking about it. Hey, uh. I love you and I respect you. And if I have to, I will protect you. And if you're of the mindfulness mindset of, you know, I'll make things happen by thinking about it. Please stop. You know, we're, 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 you and I are fellow adults and, um, (laughs) at least most of you, I would assume are fellow adults. You know, better, you know, that you can't just sit there and think about things and things will magically appear. I know that, you know, that everybody knows that. But those books are sure fun to read. And those movies are sure fun to watch, aren't they? But you still got to go do something. I love you. I respect you. If I have to, I will protect you. And that's regardless of anything about you other than whether or not you personally are an asshole. There's one person out there that knows exactly who I'm talking about. Talk to you soon.